Hey everybody, so just wanted to go live to talk about biofilms and biofilm busters. I said I was going to do that last week for you. Um, so what is a biofilm and why do we need biofilm busters? So when you have pathogens, this can be bacteria, this can be parasites, this can be fungus, what they do is they're really, really smart. They surround themselves in this matrix that makes them, and it's called a biofilm, and it makes them pretty hard to kill. Even when you're using antibiotics from the doctor, or antifungals, they're very resistant. Studies have shown up to 500 times more resistant to antibiotics and antifungals when they're surrounded in a biofilm. So what happens is people, they'll do a stool test, they'll find something, they try to kill it, it looks like it goes away, and then it comes back because though the pathogens have been protected. Your treatment is not gonna work, you're gonna need a lot more of a treatment, a lot longer of a treatment, or a natural protocol. So there, what we need to do is we need to add in a biofilm buster. But before we do that, before we do that, we have to test. We have to see what is in your gut. Without gut testing, you are just shooting in the dark. You can try and try and try and fail and fail and fail. And I did this for a long time. And that's why I'm always nagging and being, did you run a stool test? Did you do a biofilm buster first? This is so, so vital to actually finding something because the majority of times people run a stool analysis and they find nothing because every pathogen has a different life cycle and they're not all being shed all the time. You're not going to see them in the stool. So you might see them if you tested your stool every day for 90 days, you, you're going to find something. But that would get incredibly ridiculously expensive. Gut testing is not cheap. So we want to increase our chances of finding something. That is why we run a biofilm buster for two weeks prior to doing any stool testing. And then we stop. So this is what happens. You, you, run your, you do your biofilm buster for two weeks and then you do your stool testing. And in the two weeks before doing the biofilm, uh, in the two weeks before running the stool testing, you're stopping anything and everything that could have an antimicrobial property or that helps heal the gut. You need to stop everything. Otherwise, you're going to really reduce the chance of finding something in your stool. It doesn't mean you're killing it all. It's just not going to be shed. So what you want to do is you run your biofilm buster for two weeks, stop all antimicrobials and all gut treatments, enemas, everything needs to be stopped. You don't want to, you want to leave your gut alone for two weeks, run your stool test, and you're, you're going to do your biofilm buster for two weeks, and you're actually going to stop it and then wait 24 hours before you run your stool test. Now, what I like to do is I run two stool tests. I run a standard stool analysis where somebody is actually looking at it under a microscope and they're putting it in a Petri dish and trying to grow things. So I run that and then I run a PCR test. So that's either, um, I like the GI map. It is a pain in the butt. It takes 30 days to get the results back, but by far we see much more, um, we find more things in the GI map. It's worth it. It's a more comprehensive test. And that is the one that I like to run. So I run those two tests. And then you wait. You're waiting for your results, ideally. Uh, a lot of people, they, they're like, okay, I did the stool testing, now let's start something, which is okay, but you're, you're ideally going to wait until you get the results back so that you know exactly what you're up against and you can go to work on a protocol. When you know the bacteria, when you know the parasite, when you know the protozoa, you know how long you're going to need, you, and you know um, what frequency you're going to be taking things at, you're gonna know the doses, you're gonna know a lot of stuff. So it's, it's best to be patient and wait. Now, when you do start your protocol, to kill these pathogens, whatever you find, you're going to start up on your biofilm buster again. And you're going to do the biofilm buster, the entire treatment uh, or protocol. A treatment, if you do um, medicine through your doctor or the protocol that your pr practitioner designs you naturally. Now, there are a bunch of different biofilm busters. There is Sarah Gold. 
I looked up prices for you, so I'll show you what Sarah Gold looks at. It is just Sarah Peptase and a basic protease blend. And let me open this. Okay, turn my screen. So that's Sarah Gold. And those are the ingredients. So you can kind of see there's just the protease, Thera blend, and the Sarah Peptase. And that's it. So it's a very basic biofilm buster. Um, and I let me pull up the price for you. You can get that Amazon Prime. It's $38.99, 120 capsules, and the dose is one per day. Personally, I don't know how much that's going to do. I don't actually use this product, um, and I haven't really tried it just because it only has it only has those two ingredients they're not giving us a lot of information on it um, so I don't use that one now interphase is another very popular biofilm buster so it has 425 milligrams it's an enzyme blend uh, there's no breakdown on the dose that you're going to be doing one to four capsules twice a day so you're gonna either be doing um, you, you can do up to four you want to be careful, there's interphase and interphase plus. So if you're having a lot of heavy metal issues, the interphase plus has EDTA in it. And I personally don't recommend doing a gut protocol at the same time as using um, as using a heavy metal detoxification that's as strong as the EDTA. And especially if your heavy metals are really bad, it's gonna put a ton, a ton of stress on your body. So the interphase is 1595 for 125, 120 capsules. So you're going to be needing about eight of those a day, 120 capsules, do the math. That is actually quite pricey. Um, and I do have a little picture for you. I'm really hungry right now. Really hungry. Somebody bring me some food. Okay, so this is the ingredients in interphase. So they don't break down exactly what's in the enzyme blend um, dose-wise, but there is the serapeptase and the lysozyme. Like there's a lot more in it than the serigold. And it looks, um, this is interphase regular, that's not interphase plus, so it's, it's totally different. If you're wondering why I'm so hungry, it's because I went for a walk and I was trying to shoot a video for my homepage and I didn't like it, so I decided to take the dogs to the lake and Missile took off to the lake, which she does every time we go for a walk. It's perfectly normal. I get to the lake and there's no missile. There is no freaking black and white dog. So I walk all the way back to the car, calling her really high pitch, whistling, whistling. Um, I've got actually got a headache from yelling so much. <laughs> and all of a sudden we're almost back to the car and here comes my dog out of the bush. And it's like, really missile? Come on, do you have to do this? Like once a year, you like to just get lost and scare the living crap out of me. Okay, so the other one that I sometimes use is the Kirkman Biofilm Defense. It's 30.95, 60 capsules. You're going to be taking two capsules once a day. So that's a really, really good price. It does, the, the good thing with the Kirkman Biofilm Defense is that it doesn't have any eggs in it. So if you are allergic to eggs, this is going to be one for you. And this is what it looks like so that you'll have, um, so that's it right here. And that's what it has in it. So it's got a bunch of stuff, um, a bunch of fun stuff in it. It's similar dosage, a little bit different. Um, the Sarazymes, I'm wondering if that is, you know, Serapeptase. You can just pick the same names, would be nice. Now, the other one that you can use is Wobenzim. So you would, this, this one you need to take a lot of. You need to take three caps one to four times per day. It is 34.52 for 200 capsules, but you're taking a lot. Like if you're taking up to 12 capsules every single day, that, that just seems like a lot of supplements. 
especially if you're on one of my protocols, that would be a lot, a lot of supplements. Okay, where is the Wilbenzin? So you can buy this on Amazon. It is by Garden of Life. Um, and it's not coming into focus. Well, that's what it looks like. You get it. And I think that might be it. Yeah. So that's what's in it. Okay. Now, the one that I use because I have found it to give me the best results, I find the most stuff on stool analysis, is the Fibrenza. So it is a little more pricey. It's $129.99 on Amazon Prime. You get 240 capsules. You're doing two capsules twice a day. It is very, very potent. Everybody I talk to... Every, all of my clients, they always are so, so excited to get to the gut work. And I'm just shaking my head. I'm just like, you don't know what's going to hit you. It's not fun. It really is not fun to kill pathogens. They don't like it. They don't like when you screw around with their biofilm. They put it there to protect themselves. And you're basically starting a war inside your body. Not that I'm trying to scare you, but there's a reason why I rebuild the body first and try to support it as much as possible before getting to the biofilm buster and the, um, the pathogen protocols. I got a lovely picture back from one of my clients with a thumb down and fibrenza because she had just finished her two week biofilm buster protocol and had done her stool testing and her body was not impressed with her whatsoever. Um, I know when I first took Fibrenza for the first time, it knocked me right on my ass. Uh, and it goes to show that there definitely is something inside you that needs to be broken up and needs to be gotten rid of. Um, so five, Fibrenza is $129.99 on Amazon Prime. That is the lowest price that you can actually get by the company. Now I was able to negotiate with the company and I'm able to post it only in this Facebook group to give you guys 10% off on the Fibrenza. But it's a little bit different if I say it in a video. So for anybody who watches this video, if you want to order Fibrenza for me, I was able to get you guys 20% off. As long as I just say it in the video, all you have to do when you want to order is you send me a message on Facebook or an email at info at motivated to heal .com. I need your name, your address, and your email address so that I can send you a PayPal invoice. Use the discount live stream so that I know that you're getting the 20% off. Just, you know, type discount code live stream. I will send you the PayPal invoice. You pay that, it will be shipped the next day. The shipping is really, really fast. It should be there within a couple of days. Now, the only thing is, is I can, I'm only providing this to clients that are in the US because the exchange rate and the shipping in Canada and other places in the world, I just don't have the time to deal with that kind of stuff. So if you're in the United States, you want to get a really good biofilm buster, you can get 20% off. Um, now I'm not the best at math, so I'm going to do that calculation <laughs> on my calculator. Um, so that will save you $25.99, or that will actually save you if you round it up, it's $26 off the price. So you're getting a big discount and you're getting pretty well, it might not be two day shipping like Amazon Prime, You might it might be three or four days, but it is really fast. So if you want to order some Fibrenza, definitely just send me a message. If not, you can order any of those biofilm busters. I just find Fibrenza gets it done. It just does the job. You're only taking four a day, whereas a lot of the other ones you're taking a lot more. And it really, really does work. Some people, it is too strong. Um, and they have to go with something a little bit easier on their body. But... I get the best results for it with it and I see the best results in my protocols when I use it. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'm going to go live again sometime this week and hopefully do a new welcome post. I'll talk to you later. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.